Okay, before we get started, a magnetic field is the polarity that surrounds spinning bodies in space. That's my claim. That's why all these have dipole and they have anything that spins in space will become a dipole. That's why the moon's not spinning and it's not a dipole and it has no magnetic field. I'll get into that a little later. I just wanted to just see what magnetic fields look like. And these are real true magnetic fields. This is not a doodle. This is truly from a phone with a, a, an app that can see the fields. Okay, this, this is why I do this kind of stuff. I've been claiming, oh, every planet that spins has a magnetic field. So, and I thought I was right, and I actually am. <laughs> However, it depends on the density of the atmosphere. Some woman posted, she said, well, Mars doesn't have a magnetic field. And I said, whoa, wait a minute. That's interesting. I'm not going to look at that. And I did look at it, and they claim it has a very, very weak magnetic field. However, they cannot sense the magnetic field. It says, however, these satellites are located at altitudes too high and have a spatial resolution of greater than 160 kilometers, so the measured magnetization cannot observe crustal magnetic fields at shorter length scales. So the magnetic fields very close to the surface, they can't detect. And guess what? The atmosphere is a hundred times less on Mars, and Mars is minus 81 degrees, and the, the atmosphere is over a hundred times thinner. It's not scrubbing space like we are. That's what's causing our overheating. If we had no atmosphere, we'd be minus 81 degrees or somewhere around that too. Okay, this is what I was claiming, that the moon has no magnetic field because it's just being dragged around us. It's not spinning on its axis. So this field here is overlaid on top of this of the moon's disk. This is not creating this field. This is the same field as here. It's just showing over the top of it. Now, there is some other activity here, and it may just be from the concussion, because the concussion would cause this to compress into blue versus this trailing edge, which is, so the moon is more than likely going this direction. But it's not spinning on its axis, so there is no field. Everything else gives off a field. They seem to field everywhere. Field, 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 field. And that's what I was claiming. And she said, no, Mars doesn't have a field. Well, I say yes, it does, but it's so small, you can't see it. However, with this type, and this is only a cell phone. This is, I think, one of the latest generations of uh, Samsung, I believe. And this was from Dylan Carpenter, who is Rod's nephew. And he just went out and took a bunch of pictures, and he's got all, well, you know, here, let me show you one, another one. Really, it's unbelievable what he just did, just going out taking a picture. Now, this is what I'd like to try to explain. A magnetic field means these are particles. You don't get a field here and get these waves without particles concussing. It's push to shove. Way down next to the surface, where it's really impacting really hard, you get... And then they can't pull away anymore, and they come back. I say these little piggies came home. Now, what about on the sun? Those little piggies don't come home. They come at us. <laughs> That's what a magnetic field is, is a pullback of its particles. Okay, the sun has a ton of particles surrounding it, too, and it's gigantic. This moon is, our moon, is covering the disk of the sun. It is spinning in this direction, so the concussive impacts will be on this side coming into where we're plowing through. This is the trailing edge. So we're all moving this way. It's spinning in this direction and it's concussing hardest at these points. That's the nature of the impact of the forward flow because it pushes to each other's fields. That's why you get these three impact zones. This is all the little piggies leaving. They're not coming home. This is the pole. So it's spinning this way. 
That's why you're getting impacted here. This is the trailing edge. This is what we have to plow through. And that's why we're charging up exponentially. And because I, I said, Mars has a hundred times less atmosphere. It's minus 81 degrees. It's closer to the sun than us. We are really rapidly increasing our temperature. And it's because we're expanding our gas is way out here where they shouldn't be. If they were closer and we had a thinner atmosphere, it wouldn't be the issue we have now. We have all this turmoil and rubbing and scrubbing. Here's what's going on in the atmosphere. All right, we're on the arm of the Milky Way, spinning straight through whatever's in front of us. And we don't know what's in front of us. There's going to be all kinds of stuff because the galaxy is filled with stuff. But we're on an arm that's coming this way. And the sun is the one that gets pulled the hardest, and we get pulled towards the sun. Everything is gravity, and it's all the dark matter is gravity. And I've shown the dark matter over and over and over. So what are we doing? We're spinning around the sun, we're spinning on our axis, and we're being ripped through the galaxy on the arm of the Milky Way. And everything that pulls past us, we have to hit. Same thing with the sun. That's why the sun has good days and it has bad days. All right, so why are we warming up so much? Our expansion of gases used to be, let's say, here. Now it's way out here, let's say. We're really scrubbing into particles that are flowing against us. That creates, right now, it's, I believe it, it was 2,700 degrees out here. I think that's Fahrenheit. Um, at the ionosphere, very, very hot out here because it's a scrub. We're scrubbing against them, just like your tires scrubbing on the pavement, burning out. And the bigger the tires get, the more they burn. And that's what we're doing. Shh. It's not the, and these little piggies come home. These, are, these go out as a magnetic field, but they come back in. The harder they scrub, the more flow of magnetism, the more flow of magnetism, the more turmoil, the more everything, the more tornadoes and hurricanes and floods. and That's the global warming. And it causes all these other issues. Water is being moved to places it shouldn't be. Drought is going where people used to live. Fires. I mean, just it's a, it's a disaster unless we can bring this down. Like Mars is a hundred times less atmosphere than ours, and it's colder than hell. We don't have to get down to that temperature. We just need to get down to where we can a little less impact on the scrub of the, the Earth particles into the space. And again, that's why our magnetic field is here. I'll bet our magnetic field is increasing. I wonder if they're looking into that. All right, I have no idea whether they're measuring the magnetic field or not, but they talk about the geomagnetic field changes on time scales from milliseconds to millions of years. Yes, it's what it's impacting with changes its, in, its magnetic intensity. Now, I'm not sure whether if the field getting big, I mean the, the gas is getting bigger, keeps the field more away, or it just makes it stronger. That I... Experiments could be done on that to find out. Uh, my first inclination would be that it would make us stronger. However, it might not. <laughs> I don't know.